Hey, what's up guys? Today we're changing or checking the fluid level for the transmission on this 2011 Jeep Liberty. And yeah, it has the 3.7 V6 and the 42, right here's a chart, the 42 RLE transmission. Anyway, so this thing started, the transmission started slipping a little bit like after you started it for the first time. So yeah, I know it's low because I already checked it, but basically what you want to do is start the truck and run it till it heats up obviously right here and then put it in neutral when you start it. I don't know, that just helps with the transmission fluid to go through the gears and stuff. So basically start it and put it in neutral and then right here is the transmission fluid where your dipstick would normally be. This is what the engine bay looks like. So it doesn't have a dipstick for some dumb reason, but so you just have to take this off and then go on Amazon or to your local parts store. And you're gonna wanna buy one of these dipsticks for Dodge and Chrysler vehicles. Um, excuse me, but anyway, basically all it is is just go on Amazon and search for you know 2011 Jeep Liberty dipstick or so right here you can see what the end end of it looks like and it just shows millimeters you know it says 20 30 40 those represent millimeters and then basically you're going to use that to measure how high your fluid level is and this dipstick isn't meant to stay you can't keep it in the Jeep or Dodge Challenger whatever car you're whatever Jeep vehicle you have that's like this. Stick the dipstick in there until it stops going in. And you obviously don't want to force it in or it'll go, or it can go down too far and it'll be inaccurate. So you just want to like, you can go back and forth a little bit, make sure it's not sticking on anything. But I know right there is where it stops. So just push it into there, wherever it stops. And then, you know, you still got all this. But you just push it until it stops and pull it out and check your level. So I already filled this up and everything. So right now it's at 40 millimeters. Um, it's kind of hard to see on here, but, but it is at 40 millimeters right now. And that's actually where I want it. I checked it before I started running it and there was a little bit of transmission fluid in it. And then when I started it and ran it, like it went up into the gears and then there was nothing left in there so so i already added transmission fluid i just basically took a funnel put a funnel in there and added transmission fluid until i got it up to 40 millimeters which is where i want it so just look on your chart so the reason i wanted it at 40 millimeters is because my transmission fluid is at 115 degrees fahrenheit so um, you're going to want to check your transmission fluid temperature. I'll show you how to do that. And then let's say it's at 120. You're going to want to come up here. This is your minimum fill. Here's your maximum fill. So you just want it. I, I like to keep it towards the max. So like in here. So you like mine's at 115. So I want it at right about 40 millimeters. So I actually just am using a temperature like a little gun to check the temperature. You can get one of these at Harbor Freight for like five bucks. And just go under, under the Jeep. And right here's your oil pan for the transmission. The oil pan for the um, engine is always in the front of the vehicle. Here's the oil pan for the train. You wanna check this. So let's turn this thing on. And now you wanna like, for example, this thing, is coated with or it's painted it looks like it has like a bed liner of some kind on it and so you want to try and get it you want to try and point your laser at a spot that has bare metal so like right here it's chipped off a little bit so i'm going to test right there and it's at 125 right now i'll check over here at 131 not that 124. So 
You want to go back and forth on your you want to go back and forth on your uh, oil pan for the tranny and check the temperature with one of these and then just get the average temperature so like if I go on the bottom of it I have one like right here I have 125 and then up here I have 135 30 there 130. We have 120. So I'm just going to go with um, 125 because in some spots I have 120 and in some spots I have uh, closer to 130. But anyway, so the reason I'm using that temperature gun to check the temperature is because I also checked it on my on my computer and it was actually the same on the computer so so that's how I know that you can check it accurate accurately with a temperature gun so it's I mean you can obviously do it easier with a computer if you have one but it's very easy to do it with a temperature gun also so, so yeah that's basically all you have to do to check it just check your temperature and then check the level mine's at 40 a little over 40 and 120 right here is where the well, I was gonna go with 125 so 125 is where I'm at on the temperature and my fluid is at 40 millimeters so that's about perfect right there so yeah I mean if you have any questions comment down below otherwise thanks for watching